Keep in mind that the back room is really only for paintings that we plan on rotating out regularly. The, um, the pieces that are out of rotation, paintings and sculptures too, we store them at our storage facility. Now, do you keep all your records on the computer or do you have handwritten records as a backup? Oh, now that is a very shrewd question. And the answer is yes. Provenance is everything in the art world, so I do keep handwritten records. Um, maybe we should move this portrait to the back room for now? I mean, it's creepy. It's like her eyes are watching you and following you everywhere. You know something, Trina? I think you're right. I think this lady might be bad for business. <laughs> There's no reason to have her out here. Give me a hand, will you? And we'll take her in the back. There's you. Mayor Collins? Ah, oh, yeah, Trina. <laughs> Are you an art fan? Yes, and I'm an intern at the Jerome Gallery, studying the business of fine art. And not so fine art. Oh, yes. If you're referring to this portrait of Helena, I couldn't agree more. Creepy, right? If it were up to me, every image of that horrible woman would be wiped off the face of the planet. Yikes. Didn't you know her? She was my son's grandmother. Oh, are you bidding on it for him? In a way. My son died a few years ago. But his legacy and his family are very important to her, and in a strange sort of a twisted way, this portrait embodies that legacy. Well, I hope you win the auction for your son. Me too. I think it would mean a lot to his son and to the rest of my family. I'm definitely rooting for you. Thank you, sweetheart. Have fun tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to see how quickly so many of our pieces have moved. But I believe I do know why some of you are here. I present to you our auction centerpiece, a rescued Jay Garin original, a portrait of the late Helena Cassadine, matriarch of the Cassadine family. Are we ready to begin the bidding? Our auctioneer, Mr. Keyes, will take it from here. Mr. Keyes? Thank you, Ms. Jerome. Ladies and gentlemen, we will start the bidding at $10,000. Do I hear $10,000? $10,000. $10,000 to the gentleman. Thank you so much. Do I hear $11,000? $11,000. $15,000. 15,000, do I hear 16? 16. 16,000, do I hear 17,000? 50,000. 100,000. 150. 150,000, better be looking at 151. I have 150,000 here going once. 150,000 going twice. 300,000. <laughs> Whatever you think you're doing, stop it now. 300,000 here, going once. 300,000, going twice. 350,000. I said stop. If you keep bidding on that portrait, you're going to regret it. $400,000. $400,000, better be looking at 14. I've got $400,000 here, going once. 400,000, going twice. 450,000. Quite a bid. Are you sure about this? You heard me. 450,000. 450,000 going once. 450,000 going twice. Go for $450,000 to Mayor Laura Collins. Congratulations. <laughs> What the hell? 
hell? Ava, is this some sort of joke? Well, isn't this just like the late, great Jay Garen? Always wanted to have the last laugh. Except no one's laughing. Almost no one. Well, that concludes tonight's auction. Thank you all for coming. The gallery will contact all buyers directly to arrange for secure transport of your purchases. Mr. Keys, always such a professional tonight, above and beyond. Thank you. It was certainly eventful. One for the record books. Mm -hmm. Trina, could you put these in the safe, please? It's open. Just leave them on the shelf. On it. Ava, I will make you wish you stayed at Shady Brook. Excuse me? Who are you and what are you doing here? Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm a collector. Really? Because I didn't see you bidding on any of the art. Well, that's what this is for. I watch from behind the scenes and I text my bids to a proxy in the crowd. Right, a secret art collector. That must be why your back is turned and I can't see your face. Oh, wait. You know who else doesn't like to be ID'd? Thieves. And just a coincidence, we had a break in the other night. Maybe the cops would like to hear your take on the story. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah. Like I thought. Mr. Rome, there was an intruder in the back room. He took off before I could get a good look at him. Maybe that was our mystery art arsonist. Or, more likely, just another disappointed art lover. To leave. Mm, good idea. I think we're done here. Plus, uh, Charlotte's gonna be back from her mother's any minute. Well, I guess the party's over. Trina, thank you so much for all of your help. You know, I could not have done this without you. I don't mind staying. Maybe we can put our heads together and figure out who rigged the portrait to burn. <laughs> if anybody could figure it out, I know it would be you. But you know, sometimes art happens. There's a nice bonus for you. You've earned it. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Ohm. <laughs> and Trina. Do spend it all in one place. You'll be glad you did. Good night, Miss Jerome. I'll be heading out too. Quite a month. My dad gave it to me after he was released to fend off attackers. God, well, congratulate him on a job well done. Here, here, sit down, sit down. <sighs> Tilt your head back, it's just water. Why did you spray me? Because I thought you were an intruder trying to snatch me. I didn't know it was you. Why are you even here? Because uh, I'm trying to save my family. Pepper spray is like a thousand times hotter than if you wiped your eyes after handling okay. a jalapeno. This isn't making me feel any better. Okay, well, you need to concentrate on something else. Psychologically, it might help to have something to take your mind off the pain. I have plenty to think about. It's why I'm here. I'm looking for Ava Stalker. And you thought he might be here? You guys might have told me. I need to know someone's creeping around Ava's place of business. We well, didn't want to scare you. I thought I could catch the person who's responsible. How's that working out for you? Why are you here and not at your party? I heard you and Ava were getting a divorce, and I wanted to check on her. Oh, maybe I should call her. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. She, uh, she's not going to be happy. She needs to hear it from me. Why don't you go to your party, and uh, your friends are waiting there, huh? No, no. I'm not going to leave you like this. I'm getting you help whether you like it or not. And if not Ava, then who's it going to be? Uh, can you just, can you? You have communication issues. <sighs> Nicholas should have gotten back to us by now. Maybe he's giving a statement to the police. Ah, here he is. 
Nicholas. Uh, no, Mayor Collins, it's Trina. Uh, I'm at the gallery. Your son needs you. OK, we'll be right there. What? I'll tell you in the car, come on. So? What happened to calling the police? Look, for all I know, the stalker is in law enforcement. Obviously, they have familiarity with Ryan Chamberlain, not to mention enough technical knowledge to bypass security at Windermere, and using Ryan's voice in that toy bear. How is he? Is there permanent damage? No, he's going to be fine. You <laughs> got him good, though. I think I emptied my canister. Well, it was excellent aim, given the pressure you were under. My dad taught me well. Do you think we should take him to GH? Uh, yes, I think we should. Just to be on the safe side. <sighs> okay. okay. Up you go. Yeah. You walk, we will steer. Trina, I am so sorry. I hope it didn't ruin your big night. Oh, don't worry, I'll just be bashfully late. Oh, you're such a good sport. Left. 